Hi everyone, this is Chaz and this is a video journal for Saturday, August the 4th, 2012. Um, it's been a few days since I've done a video journal, um, so I figured I'd make an update and let you all know what all's going on and how things are progressing. Um, let's see, um, worked uh, today, had yesterday off, and as of course was the case with most of my days off, I had the, the day off malaise, uh, the sadness of, of, of just being at home and brooding. Um, and part of it was because I've been doing, I've been getting into some, falling back into some old habits of um, just things that I used to do when David was here, when David and I were a couple. Um, that I kind of had stopped, but when I don't think about it, I, I do these do some things. Um, for instance, I've the past couple of days, um, I've been when I've got out, gotten out of the shower, I've gotten out two Q-tips. Now you may think, you know, well, that's really no big deal. Why do you know getting out two Q-tips? You've got two ears. Well, you know, the, the, the simple fact of the matter is, is that I would get out two. I am used to getting out two Q-tips because. David would typically still be in the shower uh, when I got out, and so I would get out the second Q-tip for him to use. Um, and so for like the past two, three days, I haven't thought, and I've done that. And when I see that second Q-tip, or when I realize that I've taken out that second Q-tip, it, it just kind of smacks me in the face again that he's gone. Um, I've been doing the same thing. It was a, 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 about five, six days ago, I was making dinner, and I just instinctively reached up and got out two plates, and um, I was cooking dinner uh, another time, and I was uh, breaking up mushrooms uh, that were going to roast in the oven uh, to go in, in my side dish, and uh, I stood there as I was breaking up the mushrooms into this uh, green bag, uh, which is supposed to keep vegetables and, and fruits fresher longer. Um, and I just thought of all of the times that I had stood at that spot doing that same activity and had have David walk into the apartment coming home from work and uh, and there was a very real part of me that hoped he would um, but I know he he's not going to he's not going to just walk through the door it, it's it's not going to happen, and when he next time he does walk through the door, which he's going to have to at some point, because um, he still has stuff here, he's going to kind of be a stranger to me. Um, I will not have seen nor actually spoken to him in over two months by the time I actually do see him. Um, maybe longer. It depends. Um... I don't know how long it's going to be, and it's it's really hard. Um, I got an email from him uh, today. It sounds kind of like the cat situation might be solved. Um, from what I understand from David's email, he he was under the impression uh, that Mom and Roger taking the cats was only for uh, it was only a temporary solution. Um, and he, so, he, so he says that he has no problem with my mom and Roger taking our cats as long as it's a permanent solution, not just uh, you know a few weeks or a couple of months. Um, and that's fine. Um, I was actually anticipating that my mom and Roger would take the cats as a permanent solution. Um, and my mom even responded, excuse me, to David's email saying that that they want the cats, that they want to have the cats uh, come live with them. So. I'm hoping that that is solved uh, because that was one minor point of contention uh, that I was concerned with. Uh, the other point of contention that really needs to be dealt with is the car um, and getting either clear title or David getting clear title or basically one of us is going to have to buy the other one out of their share of the car if the car is to be sold or um, we're going to have to sell the car together and split the proceeds or what have you, even though uh, I don't think that's really what David wants. He's seemed to indicate that he thinks I'm only entitled to about $1,000 worth of the value of the car. 
Um, so we'll see. You know, I'm, I'm trying very hard, like I said, not to be adversarial or have this become an adversarial situation. Um, David has said that he, he wants to help me get moved and he wants to help me out. Uh, I'm assuming he means physically, like moving boxes and loading the truck. Um, because I don't think he's going to really offer to help me any other way. Um, he says he's been reading what I've been posting to Facebook, but he hasn't been watching the videos because he doesn't usually access Facebook on his computer. I guess he's only accessing Facebook on his phone, which I don't know if that means he's got a new phone or what the deal is, but anyway. Um, so he's supposed to come to down here to St. Louis for his last uh, Invisalign uh, orthodontics appointment on the 21st of August, um, and I'm moving on the 17th, um, which is a Friday. Uh, so he's going to try and see if he can change his dental appointment to around the 17th so that he can be here to help me get moved. Um, we'll see what happens. In other news, uh, Today was my last Saturday working at the convenience store. Um, this time next week I will have uh, worked through my two weeks notice and will uh, no longer be working there. Um, relatively short stint of employment, but uh, I knew that going in and you know a lot of people knew that going in that this was going to be a short employment stint that I was just basically I was doing it so that I could save money for school, save money for the move, save money for, um, you know, so I could have something, some kind of a little cushion uh, to to live on or live with uh, until my student loans come in. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, I will theoretically still have two paychecks coming uh, between now and when I move. Um, in fact, I should actually get my last paycheck the day before I move my last direct deposit the day before I move, so uh, we'll see how much money I actually have in the bank on moving day. Um, my parents, uh, my, mo my mother and my father and my stepfather are all offering to help move, um, however, I, I, and I, I really appreciate that and I really want them, I want all their help and my, my, my little brother Evan also is going to help me move and I, I'm really appreciative of all their help, I just don't want them to there to be any kind of overlapping of um, expenses or efforts so you know I'm only going to need like one U-Haul truck um, maybe a U-Haul truck and a trailer or a U-Haul truck and a pickup truck or SUV um, I don't know I, I, I do know that I'm taking uh, you know when I consider what I have to furnish you know I have to furnish my bedroom so you know that's taking a bed and a desk and a dresser and uh, a chair and lamps and TV and VCR or, D or DVD player and my computer and a, a printer and all my clothes and um, apparently there is room in the common uh, room, the, the living room, uh, I can take my futon um, and, and have it there um, if I want it. Um, I can take, uh, you know, I'm going to have to take pots and pans because apparently um, I'm expected to have my own cooking stuff. So. Um, we'll see. I, you know, I, I would rather take than buy new. I, I know that seems might seem a little bit odd, but if I've already got it, you know, why would I want to go and spend money to replace something I already have? Um, so, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm still trying to sell some stuff. Uh, so far, I've only gotten one response from my attempt to sell the dining room table, and I am 99.9% .9 sure it was a total scam. Uh, the person, uh, I posted pictures of the table on my Craigslist ad, and the person responded saying that they wanted to see pictures of the table, you know, despite the fact that there were already pictures um, on the ad. So I went ahead and sent the pictures to this person, and all of a sudden they, they, they said, yes, you know, I'll go ahead and buy it from you, and then they had talked about how they needed my address to mail a, uh, a, uh, a money order, and um, how it would... Uh, um, you know, they would take care of the shipping and all of the stuff, and I, I, my response to that was, um, I'm very sorry, but the ad clearly states that this is a cash and carry sale, uh, which means that you pay me, and then you take the table with you. Um, there's no shipping, there's no, 
Uh, they even offered me an additional forty dollars for the, uh, you know, if, if I went ahead with this. But it 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 just completely s smacked of a scam. Um, just completely smacked of a scam. So uh, I, you know, still hoping that someone will want to buy it. Um, still need to make ads for the other stuff I'm going to sell. Um, and we'll see what happens. Uh, so anyway, that's what's going on um, right now. Uh, not a whole heck of a lot. Um, I might probably get a little bit more excited as the move gets closer, and I, I know for sure that it's going to happen. And uh, you know, we'll see. So this is uh, Chaz signing off. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will uh, talk to you all later. Remember to take care of yourselves and each other. As always, if any of you have any uh, um, comments or questions or topics that you'd like to see discussed here on my video journals, feel free to leave a comment. Um, I would like to welcome uh, Mahogany Knight, aka Dean Myrick, uh, to watching these. At least I assume he's watching these. Uh, so welcome, Dean, and I hope everyone has a good weekend. Talk to you later. Peace.